what did you basically get him extorted and he's getting put out of his hood and uh, basically the hood has a message for him. Um, I never would have thought that Big E would be in a situation like this. You know, he's always been the type of give back to the community and everything. Um, you know, he's trying to bring everyone together. But uh, from what it looks like now, um, he's getting put out of the hood for being fake. And then also they're allegedly saying that he has ties to Nipsey Hussle being uh, unalive. And uh, this is something deep. Because uh, if that's true, it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of things going on that shouldn't be. And uh, yeah, y'all got to check this out. Um, but like your boy Big E getting put out of his own hood um, by his own people. Uh, they say he's connected with the Nipsey Hussle. That Nipsey Hussle was trying to leave him because um, he was trying to start his own label like a lot of the artists do. And uh, he was allegedly on the live after that. So uh, that's something y'all gotta check out. Y'all gotta check these uh, clips, these videos out. Let me know what y'all think. Drop some comments. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all the love from y'all, man. For real. Um, yeah. As soon as I go live, I'm gonna be tuned in hard. Uh, we got a lot to discover and talk about. I'll tell y'all that. And uh, if y'all stay tuned, I appreciate it. Love y'all, man. Yes, sir. Oh, we just got word. Big, you done? He can't come to no more events. Nothing. Officially on chopping block. It's over with. Don't come to no more events for your own sake. It's over with. You officially voted off the island. You got a sample. This last time, you pulled up and put the camera in 50 people's faces, and now one of your homies helping your camera to acknowledge you. So it's official. The word is out. Big, you ain't straight no more. Anybody seen with him? You know what time it is. You're going to be on chop block. So I just want to have a conversation with y'all about hip-hop police. Hip-hop police are everywhere. And they people that you might not think are police because they don't have a uniform on. But they have a job and an obligation to give police information. And that would be all kinds of police, from the regular police that you see every day to the FBI. Now listen, let's start with Big U from LA. He has a contract with the Los Angeles Police Department and he's making plenty of money with them. He works with the youth. But part of this contract and part of his obligations is to give them information about illegal activity like gang activity and rug activity you see but that gives a person like big U more power because you all know that he is a og crib and he has a lot of gang bangers under his wing so he gets to play both sides of the fence you heard what rich homie Quan had to say when he went to L.A. First time I ever went to L.A., I went out there to shoot the party video. Right. Right. They knew what time I landed. They knew what hotel I was at before I landed. Listen, bro, the first time I go out there, so, that, so flying with T.I.G. Fly was like, man, we got to go pull up on uh, Big U. So we're going to Crenshaw High School, but he got the football kids out there. Mm -hmm. so, so my mind fucked up. It's my first <laughs> time going out there. He was like, yeah, man, we do what time you landed. Mm. I was like, oh, yeah, this shit different. He was like, yeah, Yo, you over there? You in a hotel room? room, 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 room. Then what you call it? Get your bag? Ain't your driver? I was like, oh, yeah, this shit different. So at the same time, I say that to say, 
That checking in should be real. I ain't paid no money. All he wanted me to do was just take pictures with the kids, the football kids, and it be little shit like that. Like, niggas be thinking checking in, oh, you got to pay. They just want you to show the community, like, you're, you're still able to be reached. You know what I'm saying? So after that, I went out there that time, I ain't never had no problems from that first time. Now, did you hear this fool contradict himself? He tried to make it like it was so cool out there to kick it and, and big you. All he wanted them to do was meet the kids. But he said he didn't have any more problems after the first time going out there. So that means it was a problem the first time. Why would anybody have to know when you landed, what hotel you in, and who drove you to your hotel? If you didn't have to pay or give up no money, why you even mention something like that? Huh? And then he talking about... Uh, they just want to know that you can, you know, the community can still reach you. You can still be reached. The community? What community? Quan ain't from L.A. That ain't your community. It's very good to bring rap stars to see the children. Makes you look like you're doing a very good job. Right? But at the same time, he's an OG Crip, and he can contact Crips to come extort these very same rappers that come visit the children in the city of L.A., like Gilly the Kid. If you don't know, Gilly the Kid was brung to L.A., well, to the hood of L.A. by Big U, and Gilly was robbed. They took his jewelry and they took his $20,000 cash. Now, you don't have to believe me. Just listen. And Gilly, right? Listen, when you was in your drawers and your socks, no shirt, no nothing, you screaming on the ground. Big, you brought me here. What the homie say? So what? And somebody that you know that helped you, Nip brought you 20 grand. Got you up out of there, right? Like, you don't realize, like, bro, if somebody that brought you there couldn't get you your jewelry back, couldn't get your money back, nothing. So you telling me this is the person that you want to save and act like that was, you should know. Now you see, this man is playing both sides of the fence. He works with the police and he works with the streets. It's a win-win, right? Hey, they should have never trusted this man. You know his background. You know what he did. And not to mention what he allegedly did to Nipsey Hussle. They say he was behind the unaliving of Nip. He came to Nip's house because he wanted Nip to give him money over some equipment. And Nipsey had did a diss song dissing Big U on it called You Don't Have a Clue. And they started to beat the brakes off Nipsey. They even hit Nipsey father in the head with a bat. And the only reason why it stopped was because Black Sam came running out the house popping that thing. All of this happened because Nipsey didn't want Big U to be his manager no more. And he the one that called it for the rolling 60s. So how that's going to work when Nip is a 60? Well, it didn't work. And you know what the outcome was for Nip. And the outcome for Big U, he's still out here on the streets. Kicking it with the 60s. And working for the police. Yo. Can't make this stuff up, man.
inside the mafia. I'm out. Face on me and stuff like that. He was like, Nipsey just got killed. I'm like, sick, so I didn't hear that. So I hang up with him. I called Nipsey, and I'm like, Nipsey, what's up? He was like, oh, what's up with it? Nipsey like, answered. Nipsey yeah. answered. He answered the phone, and I was like, I love you, cuz, or whatever like that. Um, Did you, you tell him the call you just got, or you didn't even mention it? I Nipsey? didn't mention it. And it, that's that's what fucked me up, because my cousin is um, Nipsey baby mama. You get what I'm saying? So it was like... I could have probably stopped it or it had it. Um, Stop what? Fuck you mean? That fuck you talking about? No, because listen. So after I talked to Nipsey and I was like, yeah, I love you cuz or whatever like that. I'll see you later or whatever. So I hung up the phone. I thought that you gave wrong information. 30 minutes later, the homies blowing me up like they just killed Nipsey. And so I'm like. Wait, 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 wait. You get a call from Big U telling you Nipsey just got killed. Yeah. You panic called Nip. Nip answered the phone. Yeah, and uh, you we like were just okay. talking to him regular. So regular. it's like at the end of the day, I didn't even think about it because you don't even up. warn him that you got that call from dude. No, because their relationship was so fucked up. It'd be like they be hot one minute, then they be cold the next minute, and then they be lukewarm. Like you and just thirty never minutes know. after you get off the phone with Nip, he get killed. Yeah, I got it. So you on think he TV hit you a, a little too early? Yup, he hit me a little bit too early. Justice for them. <laughs> Get homie. They killed Nipsey Hussle. Eric Holder was not a lone actor in that. If you go back and follow the details, Nip and Big U got into it. Big U hit Nip Daddy across the head with a bat. His brother had to come out and shoot the gun. Hey, y'all get out. Say, Nip, come on, nigga, we finna come beat you because I don't want to pay that $20,000. You say it's over this equipment, but the white folks is pulling me away from the set. I met a Jewish white boy on the front row at the Los Angeles, Angeles Lakers ball game. Me and this white boy getting drunk. We start talking business, business idea. This white boy, see, I'm a sharp nigga. This white boy pulled me into business and ventures, business ventures. The vector sector, right? So now I'm being expanded, but now they pulling me away from the set. The set have made it known nobody's bigger than the set. Nobody's bigger than the program. Nip had gotten bigger than the program. Quando is a reminder that nobody's bigger than the program. But Nip had gotten bigger than the set. Well, what do you mean by that, Charleston? Think about when Big U and all the other big homies and the OGs in the hood. Big U having something to do with Nipsey Hussle's death. What do you make of that? Confirmation. Spill my water everywhere. He did that. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, they unveiling everybody this year. Every TDJ's getting exposed. Everybody finna get that work. Tupac Killer getting caught. Everybody <laughs> finna get that work. Let me tell y'all something. We're in a big old spiritual warfare right now. We fighting the unseen, man. But the things that y'all ain't seeing, y'all gonna start seeing because y'all gonna start seeing criminals really getting caught. Say, man, the wicked will be put to cease this year, man. I swear to God. Ain't no place for him this year. He did that. I know one thing about it. When somebody put that on your back, you get caught up. Is that a good look on um, Big U part? That ain't never a good look to be accused of murder. You got damn right. Hello! Never. I would say, but when you do something, Big U, let me let you know something. You have to make that U-turn. Bars. When you do something, you might think you got away with it, but when your name come up in certain but when your name come up in murder trials and shit like that, your name shouldn't come up in nothing like that. Your name only come up in things like that to him when you done did something like that. So right off the rip, I'm gonna yell and scream it. Oh, he done that. He said, oh, I don't have nothing to benefit from Nipsey. But you yet, you're not explaining the 10-year contract and what it included and what was it all about. Why would you sign your son, your little bro, to a 10-year contract, so they're looking out for him. Oh, it wasn't a beneficial game, but did you tell the people that Nip gave you a percentage of his album? Mm. Mm -mm. Sugar Plum. It's not adding up, right? Let's tell the world, right, how you make, you said the clothing, clothing stores, you don't sell clothes and stuff, you give them out. You sell backpacks, 
blunt raps, everything. You have a store on Crenshaw on 57th. You forgot about that? Wait. No, you couldn't forget about that. You have a store pressing up t-shirts that say Crenshaw on them. What about the, the press machine in the back of your store? You making hoodies. You selling spray ground backpacks with Crenshaw on them. Up. Oh. Sweetheart. Not, not longer than that. Longer than that. Y'all was accusing me that I didn't even do. And what's funny, I wasn't even in town. So figure that one out. But 